Thank you, John Bolton, for being the firefighter that shows up to the building that's already burned with a fire hose and saying, I'm here to help. It's curious to me that now he has something to say when he could have stepped forward as a patriot when the stakes were high. As damning as the allegations against the president are in that book, they were equally damning of John Bolton for keeping it concealed. House Democrats there blasting John Bolton for going public only after he had a book to sell. Bolton declined to cooperate with the House impeachment inquiry last fall. Let's talk to one of the leaders of that effort, Congressman Hakeem Jeffries, who served as an impeachment manager during President Trump's Senate impeachment trial. Senator uh, Jeffries, let me start, though, with the breaking news over the weekend, the firing of U.S. Attorney Jeffrey Berman. And we now have heard uh, from the chairman of the Judiciary Committee, you are a member of the Judiciary Committee, uh, saying that they will investigate, the committee will investigate, and has invited uh, Jeffrey Berman to testify. Do you expect that he will actually testify? Uh, well, it's my hope that at some point the Judiciary Committee will hear from uh, the former uh, U.S. Attorney for the Southern District of New York, uh, Mr. Berman, because I think he has a lot to say about a continuing pattern of chaos, crisis, and corruption that we have seen from the Trump administration from the very beginning until this very day. But at the end of the day, the, the president gets to hire, gets to choose, nominate, uh, appoint, in, in the case of an acting uh, U.S. attorneys. Uh, he also, doesn't he have the right to fire U.S. attorneys? We have a long tradition in this country of there being no political interference between the White House and the Department of Justice, uh, which is the primary vehicle at the federal level for ensuring that there's equal protection under the law, liberty and justice for all, uh, anchored in the principle that we are a government of the people, by the people, and for the people, not a government of a dictator or a monarch or a king. Uh, that's why Chairman Nadler has indicated, uh, with the full support of Speaker Pelosi, uh, that we are going to have this hearing on political interference between the White House and the Department of Justice and present the facts to the American people and take it from there. Okay, let's turn to, to John Bolton. I mean, we, we, we know your criticism that he should have come out earlier, but let me ask you about his critique of the House Democrats. He said it was malpractice to focus the impeachment inquiry so narrowly to Ukraine, uh, given all, the, all else that was going on. Is he right about that? In hindsight, should you have included more in your impeachment inquiry than simply Ukraine? Not at all. John Bolton is a political opportunist and a profiteer. He had the opportunity to step forward and participate in the House impeachment inquiry and share any information that he had about wrongdoing by President Trump and other members of his administration, and he declined. He also could have stepped forward in the midst of the Senate impeachment trial, but he ran and hid. That's unfortunate. At the end of the day, however, uh, House impeachment managers proved with clear and convincing evidence that Donald Trump corruptly abused his power by pressuring a foreign government, Ukraine, to target Joe Biden, an American citizen, solely for political gain as part of his corrupt scheme to interfere in the 2020 election. We established that. The Senate committed malpractice in terms of acquitting Donald Trump and now it's in the hands of the American people. Well, when you hear the allegations that Bolton is now making, though, about what he said with President Xi uh, regarding helping his election and also what he said to President Erdogan of Turkey, are those impeachable offenses in your view? Well, we litigated the question of impeachment, and Donald Trump is impeached and forever will be. Now, we had a trial in the Senate that wasn't functionally a trial, because unlike any other impeachment trial in the history of the republic, the senators declined to call a single witness. They declined to issue a single subpoena. They declined to review a single document, and that was unfortunate. But again, as I've indicated, this is all now in the hands of the American people, who are going to have a whole host of things to decide as to whether this president deserves re-election, including his incompetent response to the COVID-19 pandemic, his failure to really deliver in a meaningful way economically 
on behalf of everyday Americans and his inability to lead during a moment of confronting the long history of systemic racism in this country. Uh, Congressman Jeffries, before you go, I want to ask you a, a different question. The, the, if, if, House, if Democrats retain the House, do you think that Nancy Pelosi should step aside and we should have a, a black Speaker of the House? Uh, not at all. Nancy Pelosi has done a phenomenal job as Speaker, leading our For the People agenda, which has been focused on lowering health care costs, increasing pay for everyday Americans, uh, dealing with defending our democracy. Our COVID-19 response has been uh, tremendous and comprehensive. We will pass the George Floyd Justice and Policing Act this Thursday, uh, which will help strike a blow against police violence, police brutality, and police abuse. Uh, she has been a legendary speaker working with a historically diverse caucus leading us forward, and I look forward to her continuing to do so in the next Congress. All right, definitive answer to that question. Congressman Hakeem Jeffries, Chairman of the House Democratic Caucus, thank you for joining us. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.